let's see what is activation function in neural networks in neural networks the nodes which are in the neurons uh, which which are in the network are the neurons which are of our brain okay these neurons in our brain receive signal from the dendrites and if the uh, signal received at the neuron is strong enough that is it is having minimum threshold then the neuron passes a signal to the axon okay if the signal received at the neuron is not strong enough then it will cancel the signal and uh, the signal is not propagated further so in our neural networks when we uh, when uh, when the when when the signal reached that is when the uh, input value and the weight we multiply reaches the output uh, if the uh, the calculated output has a means has a minimum threshold then it will uh, reach the output so for calculating that minimum threshold that is whether to pass a signal or not we will apply the activation function the activation function will check activation function will cal- calculate that one and it will check whether to pass the output or not depending upon that it will pass it the output okay let's see let's see an example so this is our neural network these are input and this is output so at output we will calculate x1 w1 plus x2 z2 so on this one we will apply the activation function the sigmoid is an activation function we will apply this sigmoid function the sigmoid is 1 by 1 plus e power minus x okay so after calculating the output x1 w1 plus x2 w2 we will apply the sigmoid function so that whether to pass the output or not so when we apply the activation function we will get the value 1 plus 1 by 1 plus e power minus of x1 w1 plus x2 w2 so this value this total value will lies between 0 and 1 depending on that the neuron will pass the signal okay let uh, and these activation functions are different types of activation functions we can we, different types of activation functions we will apply at uh, output node so we will see the different types of activation functions okay see these are uh, there are many different types of function we will see some of them first is a sigmoid function it is a majorly used function a sigmoid function is 1 by 1 plus e power minus x okay and uh, the output of the sigmoid function lies between 0 and 1 this is a curve showing the sigmoid function okay uh, the output values are between 0 and 1 okay the so when we apply the uh, when we apply this uh, sigmoid function to our neuron the output value we get from it is 0 and 1 and it passes to the next neuron okay and the second uh, second type of activation function is tan h tan h this is all uh, for in this uh, the difference between the tan h and the sigmoid function is in this the value between value lies between minus 1 and 1 and the formula for it is e power z minus e power minus z by e power z plus e power minus z okay this is the formula we formula for tan h z so for this one the curve is like this from minus 1 to 1 and it gives the values between minus 1 and 1 okay the next one is and another activation function is softmax function in softmax function the value lies between 0 and 1 but here the formula is different this is the formula which we will use and uh, this is the formula which we will use so in this uh, soft, when when we apply the softmax function the output nodes the output nodes we will calculate the softmax for every output node okay every output node and we will get the value between 0 and 1 when we sum all the sum of um, sum of all the output nodes so uh, after applying softmax function when we calculate sum of all the output nodes then it will come to be 1 that is at every node it uh, range will be from 0 to 1 and sum of all the nodes will be 1 okay this is a one type of activation function so there are different types of activation function we will use uh, this activation function uh, different activation functions at uh, different types of problems see when uh, when we uh, Mm, when we want a li- when there is a linear output then we will use different type of activation function when there is non linear when we will u- then we will use different types of activation function so depending upon our out- output we will use the activation function okay this is how what is activation function in neural